Christy and today I will be talking about 12 tips to be successful okay so it's never too late to start um, working on yourself to improve yourself and to get to that point where you feel like you are successful or you already made that goal um, so in order to do that I I'm gonna give you 12 tips to start working on yourself. Number one, it's wake up early. That way you have more time to plan your day. You have more time to put your makeup with no rush, clean your space, your bed, eat breakfast, you're good, no stress. And like I said, you will have more time during the day to um, accomplish every goal, every Thing that you have planned for that day that's tip number one to be able to be successful up early uh, gives you time to finish all the morning things without stress if you either have children or if you're just by yourself you need time to get ready and look good for either work or anything like I said to finish for your day so you have a more focused mind when you wake up early and you do your things in a calm way, like I said, with no stress and everything is going smoothly and good. Number two, manage your time. Organize your day with the planner, with the calendar on your phone and put the things that are top most important for that day. So um, if you have a million things to do to get down, but you have certain time during the day, write down the, the ones that are most important for you, okay? And then leave some time for yourself, for your house, or for other little things that you need to do, okay? Number three, read books. Read books are very good. They're stress relief, and it helps you to get knowledge on any area that you're wanting to be more successful and it's not just through books you can use your phone to read books you can use the internet to search for any information that you're wanting to be more experienced to get more successful um, social media is another way that you can do or use to get more knowledge in order to be successful in anything on anything that you are interested. Number four, if you really want to be successful, this one is awesome. Never give up. Be persistent. Persistent, persistent, persistent. Don't stop. If you really, really want to be successful, you need to continue. If you feel like you're failing and you're like not getting to that point, trust me, if you don't continue, you will never, ever get there, okay? You need to be persistent. You need to read. You need to um, do all those things. Get up and start getting ready and, you know, like work on anything that you are wanting to be successful and whatever it is even if you don't have any experience like i said by reading and by searching and asking i mean you can start getting more knowledge and practicing and all of that you know so be persistent if you feel like um like something it's not quite um clear for you then go ahead and ask go ahead and search and then one day um, you'll get to that point to where you want to be. A good example of not giving up and being persisting is when a little kid is starting to walk, they fall down like a million times and they still get up and try again. There might be a moment when like they cry and like um, they feel like frustrated or something but then they get up again and they keep trying until they walk more more they do more steps every time so that I think that's a very very good example of being persistent now that you are a uh, grown-up and you really want to want to be successful in whatever area that you want you just think about a, a baby 
okay? Be persistent, continue, continue, never give up. Number five. This one, it's also very important because it's to have a healthy mind, positive mind, okay? I have noticed that when I do not feel good and I wake up kind of like depressed and I have anxiety, it's kind of hard for me to like move on and do things. So um, you can use, you can find, you can tell yourself affirmations, um, say positive quotes, you know, like all those positive things. Like I said, reading is also a very good thing because you're focusing your mind into reading and into words and you know, so um, keeping a positive mind, it's very, very important to be successful tip number six is take action if you want to be successful and you're not doing anything for yourself to get to that point trust me nothing is gonna happen you're not gonna get there but if you are really interested and you really want to be uh, successful then by reading, by searching, by asking, by sleeping early, waking up early, doing your things, organizing, all the things that I have said before already, you're gonna be able and you're gonna be closer every time to get successful on any area that you are wanting to be. I have a very good example of what happened when you take action. My language, my first language is Spanish. So when I was in high school, I kind of understood what I was being told, asked, or what I needed to do, but it wasn't very clear. I was mostly guessing what teachers were telling me. So I thought, I need to do something. I want to learn. I want to be able to understand good. I was very shy and it takes me quite a bit to dare to do things. So I was very scared to like ask questions and that people were going to judge me and um, criticize me or something, you know? So like it took me a while. I didn't say much at first, but then when I finally decided that I really wanted that bad, so bad to learn English good and better and more vocabulary and all of that then I was like okay if you that's what I told myself if you do not ask questions if you do not practice your English or whatever you know right now at this moment um, or write or read in English then you won't be able to understand or improve so what I did I started reading books that, are, that were like small books, like for kids. And I started like looking, writing down words that I didn't um, understand and they were not clear to me. And like I searched them on Google and I listened to the pronunciation and then like the meaning. So I, I tried to use my words like more often. Um, also in school, I asked questions even though I was feeling so nervous, I still did it and then I knew like that um, feeling was going to go away, it was just for a moment. So that's a, an example that I have, an experience that I have of taking action. Um, right now, I'm still learning but um, like I said, I still do the th same thing, which is um, searching, writing, reading, and all of those things. So if you really want to be successful, do the things that you need to do in order to get yourself better in a better position with more knowledge, you know? Tip number seven, sleep good. If you do not sleep good, you won't have the energy to think, focus, and do all the things that you need to do. Sleep early, wake up early, and be ready to take action and do all the things that you need to do, learning, doing whatever it is to get yourself successful. Number eight, it's journal. 
keep track of your progress. This is one of my favorite ones. I love to write. I just love it. I write down if I'm improving on something. I write down if I feel like I need to learn something and it's kind of like a reminder for me or um, if I feel good, if I feel bad. Um, if I'm learning like new words and I write them down, I write down like the definition, the meaning. Um, you can write down your plan for the day. You can write down uh, poems if that's what you like. You can write down like your plan for your, your YouTube channel. Um, you can write down like be honest with yourself and be like, okay, I I feel like I need to improve on this area. I feel like this is my weaknesses. I need to work on this or anything. Journaling, your progress, it helps a lot to be successful. Tip number eight, it's goals or dreams. The same, goals and dreams. Very important, no matter how small they are, no matter how big they are, when you keep focus on them and you keep them in your mind, it's a way to motivate yourself to keep moving, keep working on everything that you need to do to be able to be there to be successful to accomplish your goals and your dreams number 10 it's be patient if you don't have patience you're gonna lose it and you will not get nowhere great things happen with the time when there's patience when you wait amazing great things in the world takes time to be able to happen so take take your time enjoy the moment enjoy the progress and trust me that patience will get you successful example of what happens of what kind of great things happen when you have patience it's a pregnant woman how long a woman needs to stay pregnant in order to have a precious baby in their arms nine months a heavy person how long it takes for them to lose weight and to start noticing changes it takes three to six months to start noticing um, changes in their body and it's doing things right doing exercise and eating healthy so, anything wonderful that you want to see in your life, it's going to take time. You need to be patient. So, just like I said, enjoy the moment, enjoy the progress, and you will get there one day. Number 11 is learn from your mistakes or take criticism or turn criticism into positive into a lesson if you lesson someone that it's telling you um you say this wrong for example then okay be like i'm gonna practice it then right don't get mad just take it as um, a lesson you're gonna fail so many times like you have no idea but the most important thing is that you're gonna get up and you're gonna continue and you're gonna try again. You're gonna watch your mistakes and you're gonna grow from them and you're gonna improve them because you already noticed them, because you already had them. And maybe you will have them more and more and more and new ones, but that's just the only way for us to learn by noticing, being conscious of your mistakes and improving them number 12 get out of your comfort zone this one um i do that a lot it's it's very easy to say it to say in your comfort zone because nothing else is going to bother you or maybe you won't have many mistakes and or you won't have um anyone criticizing you or you know but Truly, in my experience, I am very shy. And for me to decide to do things or to even buy things, it takes me months. So 
what I do and I tell myself, Chrissy, like, do it, just do it. You wanna do this, just do it. Because if I just keep like overthinking like how I usually do, I don't really get nowhere. I can, it, it took me over a year to get out of my comfort zone and like convince myself that it, no matter what I do, people are gonna um, judge me and people are gonna talk about me and people are gonna say things about me or I'm not gonna please everyone. So it took me over a year to decide to start with my YouTube channel and start talking and getting rid of my shyness. And I really practice this a lot. I, I do all those things that I shared with all of you, all my 12 tips to be able to be successful. To be successful, I do them all day. I search like crazy, like all day, search how to be successful, how to be comfortable talking on the camera, um, what kind of ideas I can do, what kind of ideas I can talk, how to be able to feel healthy, um, how to improve myself, how to, like, all those kind of things. I, I lurk, I, but it's because I really have a desire to improve myself, to be successful, and that's why I was telling you that goals and dreams are very important because when you have them in mind, it's just the motivation for you to improve yourself. Hey everyone, this is all my top tips that I have for you guys to be successful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like it. And once again, this is all the tips that I do over and over again. I'm still working on them and I'm still doing it. So I really encourage you all to practice those tips that I'm sharing with you in order to be successful and don't stop, don't give up, be persistent. No matter how many times you fail, get up again and continue again. Journal, write, enjoy the process, be patient, and um, one day you will be successful and you will overcome all your weaknesses and things that are holding you back. Already? So if you truly feel like this is very helpful for you, give me a like. Share with a friend, with a family member, subscribe if you haven't, click on the little bell, and I'll see you next time in my next video. Have a nice day. Bye.